Yes, Etsy family. I hope you guys are well. Guys, this print on demand niche is absolutely fantastic and is making sellers some crazy cash. Guys, if you're not getting into this niche, what are you doing? But guys, before getting into this video, if you love Etsy products, you love creating, researching, listing, and all of that mad, 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 mad Etsy stuff, then please hit like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and don't forget to share because that's what we do here. We share. Guys, listen, I'm doing a few, I'm doing a lot more print on demand. Um, videos um i'd usually do a lot of the digital product videos but I'm, I'm doing a bit more of the print on demand videos too um i think it's important for the audience to know about all these nuggets that i keep finding and there's some nuggets in the in the pods as well you know there's some big nuggets check this out mate the doormat the custom doormats are the one guys check these out these are literally doormats <laughs> it is what it is right so you got these brown doormats which they are traditionally and you got people that, you know, that can customize it, personalize it for you. You know, dog doormats. You got funny doormats, um, little joke doormats, family name doormats, welcome doormats, right? But I tell you one thing, they do well, you know, and they're so easy to do. But the thing is, the key is, what is it? What kind of actual doormats is it best to get into? Now, I'm going to validate and verify that you can actually do this, get into this very, very quickly and start making money real quick. And that's the beauty about this. This is why I like to look at these niches because I like to see if I can make cash quickly. And I think you do you do as well. So let's have a look at the numbers now. So guys, as usual, I'm going to go to my nugget finder, the diamond finder, ever be. Check it out. Free access just there. Try it out. You'll love it. So product analytics. Check this out, mate. I like to do my research. I like to do science. I don't like to do guesswork. So look, when I start scanning and looking at numbers, it's always great when I see, you know, good numbers, healthy numbers. So when I'm looking across, I can see 11K, 9K, 8K, 7K, 6K. And you know what else I like to see? I like to see that even re recent listings are doing well. So look, I can go from, look, from the top one, which is 26 months. The next one is 53 months. But look, I'm going down to two month old listing, which is making 6,844. Fabuloso, right? Let's go down further. I got this one that is making a 6,000 115 it's called the wow personalized dog one let's have a look at this one really cool one personalized dog and cat gift welcome matt right it's got an average conversion of 5.66 it's <laughs> it's an average it's a listing age of two month old guys making six thousand one hundred fifteen dollars right let's have a look at this very quickly let's have a gander let's have a look at this now look at it it's quite a simple thing um now what it is is you can see almost like uh it's a personalized dog one and if we look at this, what they've got is they've actually got literally ready to go breeds of dogs in a kind of SVG uh, format, right? Which is pretty cool. They've literally got them ready to go. That's actually a cool idea, having them ready to go rather than getting the picture image and then, you know, transforming the image into an SVG, right? Even though I do have a video on that too. But, you know, you could do it that way, right? Um, but this is literally, look, the cats and dogs, um, the different breeds, the SVGs are there ready for you to choose and put. That is amazing, right? That's amazing. So this is the kind of personalization that people are searching for. Look, the personalization, the custom sort of arena niche is, is fabulous. People love it, right? People love it so much. In, in fact, if you understand about how the designs are, even the designs that they've chosen, even the style of design that they've chosen, which is like uh, the Peking kind of dog or the Peking cat. I'll just show you very quickly so you can see it. The Peking dog or the Peking cat is the kind of wanted design as well. So they've done a few really, really cool things. You know, pets are something that people want to have as a personalization on a uh, doormat, but also the Peking style. So I guess it's understanding also what styles work, right? Now, there's so many. The good thing is there's a lot. Now, if I filter, let me just do filter for you, right? So I like to look at recent listings because the thing about least recent listings, if a recent listing is doing well, right? If a recent listing is doing well, I'm going to do two months old, max. If a recent listing is doing well, it's a good sign. And if the shop age is also quite recent, that is also fantastic to see, right? Because that also gives me some some good like confidence. So I'm actually going to go also and put the shop age a maximum of, I'll put three months. I mean, come on, that's a, that's a, that's a recent store, right? So two month old listing with a three month old shop, right? And let's see what we get in terms of results. Cause you know what, if, if they're making money already, then that's a really cool sign, right? So let's just go at the top. Um, so I can see this one month old listing actually making 3,421. I mean, the rest are making money, but this one is definitely making more. This is fantastic. Look at this one. 
Life's better at, at Boss and Baby's house. So they've got a custom name house doormat, right? And that's making a lot of money. This is making, let's have a look. This is making 3,363. It's actually got a decent conversion of, a very good conversion of, uh, got a conversion rate of 4.39. And you know what I like as well? There are tips and hints. When I go to the tags, I also get some 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 more tips in this investigation that we're doing, right? Now, if we look at the tags that they're sort of ranking for, you've got personalized doormat. It's got a decent keyword score. You've got custom doormat there. You've got family doormat there. Decent score. Family name mat, 90. Custom. Grandparent doormat actually has got a really good, good number. So let me just go over to grandparent. I'm sure they've got grandparent on the title. Let's double check that. Yep. Grandparent doormat is there. So they're really utilizing those really good keyword scores so that they can, they can get ranked up on Etsy. You can see that in the title and the tags, right? And I'm sure they got it in the product description. Now, listen, this is, this, is, this is the thing with this. So I like to go further. I'll go further with this. I want to do my keyword research now. Now, after I've kind of verified that, it seems like a good one because a lot of these even newbie sellers are making money, right? Which is a good sign. But then you start going into, you, you want to look at more keywords. So I might go to maybe personalized because it looks like it's the personalized ones that are doing quite well. Personal, personalized uh, Dorma, right? Dorma. Let's just, let's just have a look and see what kind of numbers we get with, with regards to search and, and how good it is. So it's a search volume of 1,490, quite healthy. Good keyword score of 50. Right. I'm going to go further with this because, you know, we're getting some we're getting closer. We're not quite there yet with regards to that. So I want to go to a keyword score minimum of 50 with keywords. Right. And then I can I can start seeing what things people are, are searching for. Now, a lot of these really high keyword scores are really about people kind of misspelling, you know, so I don't really want to look at those misspelling ones. I want to start looking at sort of words that sort of do make sense. Right. To see what they're doing. So you've got personalized welcome doormat. Custom doormat, housewarming gift, doormats, personal, okay, personal, a personal doormat. Yeah, so look, you got you got to think about what people would be searching for and how people type into the Etsy search bar as well. Some people look, one thousand two hundred sixty-eight people type in personal doormat, and what you have to do is you have to decipher what they mean by that. So in this case, it looks like they would they would most likely mean uh, a personalized doormat, right? And so that's a fantastic keyword score. Um, personalized custom doormat again there's another one you know now i could there's this is a good one look at this welcoming doormat funny funny welcoming doormat now these two keywords have obviously are they they're, they're, they're similar they're the same words but in just different um order now they have a volume of 975 right and it has a competition of 69 now for me knowing what to do uh, and it's got amazing <laughs> absolutely through the roof keyword score 14 thousand that is a mad one now what i could decipher from this is that if i did a sort of funny doormat funny style doormat it's a bit like other niches you know when you do a funny kind of mug you know a funny kind of candle a label you get this idea where people do look for these anyway but the thing is with the doormat there isn't much in terms of the funny doormat but yet they are they people want that too right so when you look across different niches, you can see certain trends that happen and certain similarities. So it's very interesting. Now, I would go further. I would probably, there's 78 pages there. See, look, there's personalized doormat funny. When things repeat themselves, right? When, they, when you see things that repeat themselves, you know then that's a good sign, right? Other things that are coming up like family doormat. So I can imagine they mean by family name on the doormat, right? That's not too bad as well. Names on the doormat. Name doormat. That's repeating itself a few times. So then I would go off and write, okay, funny one, family name one, newlywed. Look, newlywed doormat. That's interesting. 482 search for it. Only a 3,148 competition. Fantastic. 150 keyword score. Newlywed gift doormat. So I can imagine if you did something that is for a newlyweds, that could also work. A custom, a personalized one, right? So there are so many sub niches within the Stormat one that are really healthy and really strong. Um, and there's a lot of money in this. There definitely is. And it sort of makes sense. So when you actually go and find these, you can see how these people are making money within the first month. And this is the mad thing about this. They are making money within the first month. That's how you know you're in a good niche. And then you come back and you look at something like this and you're looking at these keyword scores that have got really good numbers, like really, really cool numbers. But And then you, it's clearly a personalized type of uh, doormat, right? Now, the one that was making really good money, I saw it and it was a kind of pet dog one. So again, I might look at, I'd put in a keyword of pet just to see what 
maybe that might give me just uh just to get an idea and again look doormat for pets or custom doormat pet decent numbers these are decent numbers guys 215 only competition of 2931 2, and again like i keep saying to people they you know you're going to say doormat for pets or custom doormat in many different ways and these are also different search volumes that come together to make a really big search healthy search volume look at this pet personalized doormat so people do look for the pet personalized doormat type which is good to see and it and it also confirms how they're making good money um pet footprint okay so this that volume is not as much really so i'm going to leave that and go back to the other one right when you start going now i mean this is the beautiful bit about this is now that we sort of validated that this is a really decent one to sort of get into um now remember it's more the personalized one so even when we go to personalized doormat right niching down further and when i type in personalized pet doormat which seemed like a decent one that they're making good money on um let me do a space let me do a space between it before you might say he can't spell man right personalized pet doormat right personalized pet doormat it has a search of 1,400, 1466 so again this is another thing that is confirming that this is a decent one it's a low low uh low competition one you know you can see that by the results it's a low competition and a good thing to get into right a decent one to get into now how do you actually make this well let's go to my go-to third party print on demand the one i call printify yeah um so let's go to printify guys very quickly and check it out so look the, the great thing about printify is as you guys know they've got options now when i go to dorma let me go to dorma what's got what happened there oh yeah there you go so look printify do have a doormat and i've seen looked at all the results and a lot of the ones that do sell use this doormat right this particular doormat um there are others that i use but a lot of them do use this one which is that kind of sort of uh brown um sort of furry um tuft fiber yeah that sort of brown fiber one um with a black vinyl back in these are like your sort of typical ones and then obviously your job would be to create your either your font style uh depending on what it is that which sub niche you're getting into like i said do your keyword research and get into a sub niche it might be a pet personalized one um it might not be it might be something else it might be like we saw that the wedding one newlywed one was a really really cool one actually to get into okay get your design and obviously get it uploaded onto uh, printify which is absolutely easy to do and i've done many videos to show how it's done um but yeah guys you know decent product good margins i think is a good one to get into really really cool one to get into but remember sub 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 niche within that doormat personalization and i think that's where the cash is at guys i hope you liked the video if you did like the video please hit the like subscribe smash that notification bell and i'll see you on the next video take care